Hey, hey, Libra, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your May 2022 career reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we're going to dive into the collective energy of Libra and take a look at all things related to your finances, your money, prosperity, abundance. We will take a look at it all. So just a friendly reminder, Libra, these are general messages. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or even entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, Libra, we're going to dive into the energy of your past, present, and future before we get into your Celtic cross. So we have cutlery showing up for you in the position of your recent past. Now this talks about you focusing on your business tools. Now this can be about you needing more money or living well. I feel like a lot of you in the recent past are really trying to save some money or figure out ways to bring in additional sources of income. Some of you are strategizing is what they're showing me as well. Now you may have a career that is food related some of you are the sole provider, or you are looking at working more on ideas, projects here. This could be uh, side hustles that you are focusing on how to bring in more business because you do have the business tools. So that's the big energy that I'm getting here is that a lot of you are figuring out how, how to bring in more resources here. Even if you are a small business owner or an entrepreneur, or if you do work for somebody else, I feel like there's education within in this energy and you are you're living well is what I'm sensing here Libra or if you're not in that energy or mindset of abundance at this time it's something that you're certainly bringing in because in the present energy we have the candle and the candle talks about ambition, taking action, hustling. It talks about manifesting more money. And the reason you're able to do this is because this past energy of business tools and living well and bringing in the energy. So in the past here, this is you manifesting. Now in the present, this is you really taking action. It's something's coming to life. Something's coming to fruition. A lot of you are really working your hustle this month in the month of May. I feel for for a lot of you, this may be one of your best months yet regarding money flow, regarding income. There may be additional sources of income that come in for you as well. And perhaps it's not business related. Maybe it is a settlement payment or, you know, child support or some sort of back pay or maybe taxes. There's some sort of refund I feel that may be showing up for you as well. Or it could be even a bonus, Libra, a bonus or a raise because I see you manifesting more money. Now, you may have a career in management or you may be looking to climb up the ladder here so to speak this could be about high rank visibility and some of you may be in some job that's more athletic or something that allows you to move around more as well because what I'm seeing is a busy body energy. Some of you may be assistants as well, or real estate agents, or you are, are really on the move this month. You could be consultants and you're going from place to place here. So I feel if there has been a little bit of instability in the past, or if you felt a little bit stuck, stagnant, or slowed down, now is not the time for that stuck energy. Now it's time to take action. And I feel the candle here is you using these business tools that you have available to your, uh, to your energy here to manifest this action to bring in more money. You're ha you have high ambition and some ideas that you have this month, Libra, are really going to grow and you may expand on them as well. So in the position of your future, we have the gears. This is talking about money flow, hard work, putting plans into motion. So this is the third card about more money. So you have money on your mind here, Libra. This is about building, possibly building a business, building a new office environment, an office setting. There's something with uh, even working as a team for some of you out there or connecting as a team to bring up, okay, show that to me again. They're showing me a team energy here where you're working as a team to build a project. 
Now, for some of you, it's not necessarily people that is your team members here. This could be other ways. So for example, let's say you are starting your own website and you're not quite sure how to do something, or you may be starting your own business and you're not sure about the accounting part. You may be using the business tools and uh, teamwork energy of other platforms or other services that can help you out at this time. So maybe you are taking, uh, you know, taking a to YouTube. Maybe you're starting a YouTube channel and maybe you are using some other form of platform to get a course out there. And maybe you are using, uh, you know, something else. They're just showing me you using the tools that you have to bring in more success, more uh, reputable business here and more visibility because I feel like you're on your A game, Libra. And this also talks about taking time off and it talks about you being in a position of financial security for you to take time off in the future. Because we have such high energy of more money, of ambition and hustle, and now with the gears going, you may be taking a little bit of a break in the month of May, but I feel like you're saving up for something larger, whether this is a larger vacation uh, where you can take an extended period of time off. Perhaps some of you are saving up for a home, for uh, you know a vehicle. There's something with you putting some plans into motion, but your hard work is paying off, especially in the near future. Whatever it is that you're working towards at this time, whatever has been on your mind, Libra, there is a lot of money coming in here for you. So I'm excited to dive into your reading and see where you're at here in the month of May regarding finances. Spirit, what do we have for the heart of the matter? What's the heart of the matter for Libra in the month of May? They just gave me the name Molly. Molly, if that is your name, Molly, uh, or maybe you work on Molly Avenue or Molly Street, P please take it as it resonates. So the heart of the matter, two of Michael. Two of Michael is about decisions needing to be made. It says, it will all be better if you just make a decision over analyzing a problem. So finding a compromise is going to be important. So Libra, you are the sign that can be indecisive at times. You may overanalyze a situation. So what this is saying here is the two of swords showing up is needing to make a decision because your heart and your head may be opposing each other at this time. I feel like it just has to do with um, so many things going on in your mind that you want to take the next step. So for example, if you are trying to branch off on your own or really build up a side business, some of you may get stuck in your head where you just need to make one decision at a time instead of seeing you know five different things that need to get done right away just focus on one of those things and uh, make a decision to do it instead of all of these brilliant ideas you have stick with one thing until it gets done and then move to the next is what i'm seeing here for you let's clarify the two of swords for libra we have the high priestess use your intuition some of you are very, very intuitive, and I know this has come up many times in your readings here, Libra, but the high priestess is somebody who bases their decisions on their intuition. They are full of truth and full of insight and inner wisdom, so trust that gut feeling. If something feels off to you, go with that first initial feeling here. Uh, if you are questioning what decision to make, really take some time out from the busy hustle bustle. Take a little bit of internal retrospection, kind of like that hermit energy. Take a little bit of soul solitude time and weigh up some pros and cons. You uh, may be a list maker as well, Libra. You like to write out pros and cons or maybe make a list and cross them off as you go. Going to be very important for you this month, especially with so much activity. They're giving me the eight of wands, so I'll be curious if that shows up for you. So I'm getting chariot and eight of wands. So using your intuition is going to be very important in making some sort of money move or some sort of decision uh, for your future. Now let's take a look Libra and see what challenges may be showing up for you or what blocks and how we can help you navigate through them. What do we have here Spirit? We have the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is somebody 
when they are feeling really good with the decisions that they've made. So I feel the only obstacle here for you is to make a decision to be in this Queen of Cups, or excuse me, Queen of Pentacles energy. Because when she's feeling good, she's feeling quite mature, very practical with her money, very generous, very happy. And this talks about nurturing yourself and those you love, Libra, the ability to make anything more beautiful. And that is you. You are able to make things or people more beautiful and situations more beautiful as well, whether it's just your presence or whether you create things that enhance or beautify others. But it says practical and wise advice. So the challenge for you this month is uh, some of you may be focusing on your material needs more than maybe your family, or you may be focusing on spending. So take a look at how you're spending money this month as well. And that may be what these decisions are coming in. Some of you may be trying to do some comparison shopping because the Queen of Pentacles is very resourceful. She's typically very good with her money, but there may be some indulging or some impulsive buys this month, or at times even overworking because you are focused on the material side as well. So it's not necessarily a challenge, I feel, for you, but it's just saying that make um decisions that are mature. Nurture yourself this month. Focus on self-love, but pay attention that you are not overspending or overindulging on the things that, uh, you know, aren't maybe that you don't necessarily need because I feel Libra, there are things that you want to save up for and you may decide, oh wow, I really made a huge purchase this month on this item, but I really wanted to go on vacation or, you know, I, I purchased this and I probably should have waited because I wanted to do this first. So that's all I'm seeing here for the challenge. So with that, we'll clarify as well, but I don't feel that it's going to necessarily be, you know, it's not going to be a molehill versus, you know, a tiny anthill. This is a challenge that you can work with and that may be part of the decision. Some of you may be going between two homes that you may be contemplating purchasing. It could be about, uh, you know, two business offers. It can be, uh, there's something here that looks really good for you. It looks like a new job offer, a promotion, a raise, uh, you know, new clientele. And a lot of you have money again on your mind. And then, yeah, Knight of Swords. This is your energy here, uh, air energy of taking action. So I feel like a lot of you, the only challenge I'm seeing is you really working hard. So take time out for yourself. This could also be saying, make sure that you do indulge in yourself instead of maybe saving every single penny that you make. This may be saying, take yourself out to lunch, take your family uh, away for a getaway during the weekend here. Or maybe it is about you buying some things that you have wanted for a while because you've earned it. Your hard work is paying off and you're manifesting money. And I know at times, Libra, it's hard to try Try not to hoard that money and save it because you like to see it grow and grow and grow. But what I'm getting for, they're, they're showing me a 50-50 split and no wonder because of that Libra and indecisive energy. For some of you, it's about overspending and some of you, it's about actually putting, uh, putting some money out there for yourself or for your family because you want to take action and you like to see this progress that's coming in here for you. Let's take a look at the foundation. What are you built upon here? What is below you, Libra? All right, Libran energy. We have the Ace of Cups. Something here that you're moving towards or doing something that you love, something that is really fulfilling. Now this talks about overflowing of emotions. It says here, a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insight. So a lot of you are focusing on doing something that is inspiring to not only yourself, but to others. Libra, there's something that you're giving uh, out of your cup of love that is overflowing, that is really helpful and inspirational to other people. This is really beautiful, especially if it has to do with anything with the intuition. You got that high priestess energy. So that high priestess, again, is about you using the tools that you have, that inner wisdom, insight, gut feeling. People may come to you for counseling, for coaching, for you know, help with their emotions, their feelings, because you are wise and you are intuitive. And I feel like this is a brand new opportunity for you to really get inspired to move in this direction, making more money. So make sure you're balancing that as well. You're balancing your family and your work life this month. Let's take a look and clarify this Ace of Cups. This is beautiful to have below you here. 
This is about, oh goodness. Whoa, we got a little bit of a, a malfunction. Okay, let's take a look and clarify here, Libra. We have the Queen of Cups now, just as I was saying here about intuition and coaching and mentoring. Now, the Queen of Cups is somebody who gives great advice, great support, and really, really good hugs, Libra. This is somebody who is extremely intuitive. She's a nurturer, compassionate. She's a healer, very emp empathetic as well. Now, she could be a psychic, and when I say she, this could be you, whether you are female or male, but this is somebody who is could be a tarot reader or in a caring profession where you take care of others so what i'm sensing here especially as your challenge this month is you may be somebody who takes so much pride and care and uh, energy to caring for other people that you may neglect your own uh, care as well because in this card you can see that she's pouring her cup out and she feels exhausted so what this is saying is make sure that you are filling your cup first and so you have enough to overflow because your cup being filled first and foremost is going to set the groundwork for everything else to come in here so that's a very powerful message for you Libra so just make sure you're taking care of yourself and your family first now let's dive into the recent past and see what is going on for you Libra recent past energy here Knight of Cups, more emotion. So there's something that you want to really head towards if you haven't already that is emotionally fulfilling, something that you've been desiring, something that you're passionate about here. Because the Knight of Raphael is somebody who can be a bit of a dreamer, very poetic, romantic, uh, dramatic at times. And this talks about committed issues committed career committed passion showing up for you it's situations or topics that make your heart flutter so some of you could even be relationship gurus or you may be starting blogs or starting uh you know starting a new business regarding bringing people together uh, in a romantic sense as well but for the majority of you i feel like this is about you moving towards something that really fulfills your heart chakra but let's take a look and clarify some of you definitely have taken the action and now that you put in the hard work and energy there's a lot of ambition and drive behind this as well and uh yeah i feel like you have made decisions for your finances for your abundance because the three of wands talks about <coughs> excuse me an expansion of opportunities and Libra, I see that you have a lot of opportunities before you, but sometimes you can get stuck in your head about which direction to go. Do I add this onto my business? Is this going to be profitable? Do I take this course? Do I take this trip? Do I save this amount? So there's a lot of what ifs, uh, how to's and uh, back and forth energy at times. But the good news is the three of wands talks about you not taking your eye off the big prize here and you can get to that prize whatever that means to you by a lot of different ways but it's very important for you to stick to one way and then moving forward and if it's working keep going and if it's not then uh detour then take a detour here so let's dive in and see what's showing up for you what's above libra spirit what is the potential what's above libra thank you uh, we have the Knight of Ariel. Knight, so another, wow, you have so many knights coming up for you. Now, the Knight of Ariel is the Knight of Pentacles. So something that you are working on, again, it's slow but steady and eventually in the long run, uh, long-term goals, long-term success. This is something that will grow into retirement is what I'm feeling here with the Knight of Pentacles. This is someone who's very dependable, trustworthy, waits for uh, the time to take action, but the time is now. And I feel like you've already started to take action towards your heart's desire because you have the Knight of Cups in your past and now you are making money. Now, because you're going towards something that was is fulfilling to your heart, now you're gonna see the compensation showing up here. And this compensation is only going to grow and grow and grow over time because it says there is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan, being watched over by someone very kind. I love this energy for you because again, there's so much to accomplish and sometimes Libra, because there's so much to do, you get a little bit uh, flustered and you may not do any of them at all. Or you may say, there's too much to do, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. It's saying here, make a detailed plan, like we were talking about earlier, maybe uh, writing things down on a list, maybe uh, uploading an app 
that's uh, about productivity or time management. There are a lot of different things that you can do, Libra, to help you manage uh, what's going on here. Whether this is, you know, maybe a calendar or th there could be some sort of, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe you're hiring an assistant or a virtual assistant to help you manage your time as well. But whatever this is for you, uh, I feel like you are being divinely guided. And for a lot of you Libras, you are being watched over. Whether this is your guides, your angels, whether it's loved ones in spirit. I feel like a lot of you are heading towards some sort of soul quenching purpose or calling. Something that you're doing is part of your soul's path here. This is really beautiful. Let's take a look and see where this is going. So yes, slow and steady wins the race. This is like that tortoise energy. And actually tortoises and turtles go faster than you would think. And so something that seems slow uh, may actually be taking off quite quick for you, Libra. The fool, brand new energy showing up here. The fool says you may not be sure where this event, this adventure is going to take you or where this new opportunity is going. But what I see you doing here is embracing the unknown. There's risk here, absolutely. There is adventure, there's chance, there's spontaneity. Take a leap of faith in this new beginning and you'll be surprised where you end up. The Knight of Pentacles is the night that you probably want the most because it talks about long-term growth, long-term longevity, and who doesn't want that when it comes to finances? There's also something here with residual income for you, Libra. Something that you do today could make you a lot of money down the road. So even if this is something like you putting some money into a retirement account, or this is, you know, uh, maybe you purchase a home or you are flipping homes or doing something with real estate where right now it seems like it may be a lower price. I mean, not that's that's rare. You're not, you're not going to find that too much nowadays, but I feel like there's something here that has the potential to really grow and advance, but there's a brand new beginning coming in for you that has long-term growth is what I'm seeing. So let's take a look at what's showing up in the near future for Libra. Spirit, what do we have for Libra showing up here in the near future? They're also talking about animals. Some of you may have an animal. You may be considering getting a dog or a cat. Uh, there may be an animal that you are taking more care of, or uh, there's just maybe you may be taking care of a friend's animal while they're out of town. There's something with animals showing up, or maybe you have an animal that is nudging you or demanding to be let out or fed while you're reading this or while you're watching this as well. So please take it as it resonates. Wow, you have the emperor showing up in the near future. This is really powerful and I'm getting a couple of messages for you, Libra. So the emperor can be somebody of higher authority showing up, Aries energy. Uh, very powerful, especially for you Librans that may have Aries in your chart. And we are... Uh, you know, opposing, opposing here. The opposite side of the spectrum is Aries. So on the other side of Libra is Aries. So you're embodying the emperor energy of action. And you have that showing up numerous times in your reading with all of this night energy. Excuse me, you have the cutlery, the candle, the gears, talking about money flow, hard work, hustle. There's something here that you're really take act taking action on because you're feeling inspired and ambitious. Now, the emperor says stability and efficiency are coming in for you. Taking charge of a situation. This talks about ambitious plans. So the emperor showing up can be somebody of higher authority coming into your energy, giving you the, the flag to move forward. Uh, this can be, for a lot of you, this is you. This is you really stepping up because you're putting in the hard work. And uh, Libra, this is you combining what it is that you enjoy and what you love, but also being fairly compensated for it. Now, the emperor energy as well is about bringing stability to your finances. It is about structure. It is about leadership. So a lot of you, your sole lesson at this time is to become a better leader, a better version of yourself by taking your finances uh, in your own hands here. You're controlling your own uh, destiny. And I feel like a lot of you are really bringing in a lot of money this month. Month. Uh, some of you may be dealing with an emperor that maybe somebody who's in charge of your money or uh, somebody who can help you move forward in, in your business endeavors or a boss or somebody that gives you the go ahead. But we're going to clarify here and see what this is. 
There it is, the judgment card. This is what I was saying here earlier, your purpose, your calling. This is about an awakening happening, Libra, within you. The judgment card is about changing your life for the better. This is about a rebirth. It's about second chances. It's about evaluating everything that you have learned up until this point, and now you're chasing some dreams. Uh, with the full energy showing up and you're taking action. I love this. A lot of you are moving in the direction of your soul's purpose. And I feel like this has been a common theme for you in the past, you know, numerous readings I've done, Libra, is so many of you are stepping into your power and you're living what it is that you're finally meant to be doing. And it doesn't mean that you made a mistake in the past or it doesn't mean that you weren't supposed to be doing what you were in the past because those were stepping stones for you to learn. Maybe that small uh, you know, barista job that you did taught you communication skills with people. Perhaps uh, you, know, you being a, a janitor at a school taught you routine and cleanliness. You know, Who knows, but there are situations in the past that have really led up to this point in your life and now you're taking off and you're taking action and the emperor is the highest of high so whatever it is that you're building whatever it is that you are moving towards you have the potential to climb mountains some of you this is ceo status this is management this is not even just management this is above that this is boss you being your own boss this is the highest of high that you can go here so this is really great for those of you that are working for somebody else Else. Uh, you may be in a position of higher authority or you may be at your highest of high for maybe pay or um, being in a job where you're at the top here. So let's take a look and see what you're telling yourself this month. Libra, we know you're taking action. You're feeling good about where you're going. I like that. But let's take a look and see what you are telling yourself. What are you feeling? Yeah, you're managing your money. You have the four of pentacles, money on your mind. A lot of you are managing those resources. And again, that may be a little bit of the challenge showing up is instead of hanging on so tightly to what it is that you have, it's saying, let loose. You may have the money to do it. You may have a little bit of extra to splurge or to spend. It says, when you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change. Um, extremes in how you save or spend money. And that's exactly what we are talking about with your challenge this month. So it makes sense because some of you may be overspending, like I said in the beginning, or you may not want to spend because you're hanging on really tight because of, you know, you're seeing the money coming in here and you're excited about it as well. But it's saying, make sure that you are giving and receiving uh, in return. Because again, when you give, you also receive. So let's clarify the Four of Pentacles for Libra. Thank you, Spirit. Oh my gosh. Now you have the Knight of Wands. Libra, more action. This, you have, <clears throat> excuse me, you have all the Knights out here besides the Knight of, let's see, the Knight of, maybe you have all the Knights out here. You have the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Wands, oh, Knight of Swords, <clears throat> excuse me, but I feel like you did get the Knight of Swords earlier as a clarifying card. So yeah, you have all the Knights out here and Knights are about action. They're action takers. So Libra, this is about you really going full speed ahead. There's so much passion, so much drive, so much hustle, so much ambition. And now you're finally seeing the fruits of your labor pay off and you just want more, more, more. So make sure that you are staying in an energy of gratitude. An attitude of gratitude brings great blessings. Uh, but also the Knight of Wands, there's something you're quite passionate about and you're excited to do. So just take a little bit of time for you as well and it may seem like you are because you're you're doing stuff that is happy to you but make sure that you're not neglecting other people in your family or in your life or your friends because of your drive for success here is the big message coming in and i don't feel like you will because you will be balancing things out quite well libra um, but again it's just saying make sure you're seeing from that higher perspective and taking a look at everything around you so people don't feel left out now let's dive into your environment what is showing up for you you in your environment this month we have the five of wands five of wands energy it says a challenge that you can resolve withdraw from the drama of others have patience with yourself and those around you okay so this could be you know work squabbles that come up here it can be about feeling competitive at times they're telling me some people may be jealous of your success 
Uh, but don't let those people drag you down. Now, this could be family members, people, um, again, that may be where that challenge is coming in, where you have a drive for success and motivation, but other people are trying to get your attention and your energy, because this is about working together, not being uh, com overly competitive, not criticizing yourself or others, uh, but agreeing to disagree at times, but overcoming any challenges or obstacles that come your way. So let's clarify what this five of wands energy is. And the five of wands is actually one of the fives that I don't mind seeing in tarot because it talks about you working through and it talks about healthy conflict as well. If people have opposing views, you may be seeing things from their side and saying, wow, yeah, they, they may be right. Or wow, that was a great input. Thank you for sharing that. So I do feel like you are learning how to uh, how to deal with conflict in a healthy way this month. Let's take a look and clarify the five of wands. And it could be as simple as maybe a client or a customer or somebody you work with saying, uh, you know, Libra, do you have this time available? And it's about working with schedules as well. Uh, Nine of Wands. Yeah, this card talks about you determine you being determined you finding motivation you staying uh discipline persistence not giving up here because the nine of wands is somebody who continues to go for what they want and that's what i'm seeing you may feel like there's competition out there and that may be what is driving you to bring so much action into your energy in the month of may here because the nine of wands he doesn't give up at all he is the card of the wounded warrior but he has that determination that spiritual strength and persistent persistence to keep going because he knows that something is really close to happening here and that's what i feel is going on with you because nines are about accomplishment they're about service they're about completions here so there's something you're really close to and you may be kind of putting other things on the back burner or not being flexible because you have maybe a one-way um i don't want to say a one-way thinking libra but you have money on the minds and other people may be saying, well, Libra, it's great to have that drive and that success, but can you go to this family function or can you go to this or go to that? So it's just saying don't neglect the things that really matter to your heart as well. Now let's take a look at your hopes and fears, Libra. What do we have? Oh my gosh. And we have the, there is the Knight of uh, Wands showing up here again for you. So let's just take a, a look. Thank you, Spirit. The Strength card. I love the strength card. You uh, are stronger than you think, Libra. And uh, the strength card is saying here that strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness as well. So your hope here is that you are strong enough to get through any challenges that come your way. The strength card is that you hope to be disciplined enough and motivated enough to keep moving forward here on your journey. And the strength card showing up as a fear is talking about self-sabotage. At times, maybe you self-sabotage success or money with one form, way, or another. But the strength card here, again, is saying that you are a lot stronger than you think. And you have the inner strength, the endurance, and the power to manifest whatever situations regarding money, prosperity, abundance, and success that you want. And I feel like because you're on some sort of a, uh, you know, a, a hustle kick or action or you have such high ambitions this month there's a sense of i need to do it all now but that and that's the the fear here is it's a fear and a hope like i have this ambition i need to do it now if i don't do it it's going to go away and then i'll get nothing done uh, but make sure that you are balancing that energy up as well libra so let's take a look and clarify the strength we have oh my gosh we have the knight of cups and we have the Page of Swords. So this is about you staying curious, staying open to new ideas, new ways to bring in resources, staying on top of your game, having a fresh set of eyes uh, type of energy, feeling that enthusiasm to keep moving forward, chasing your dreams. Because the Knight of Cups, again, we've already had this showing up in your past. This is about you staying committed to doing what it is that you love. You're strong enough to keep going. You're strong enough to face any challenges head on. And I feel a lot of you are fearful that you're going to lose maybe some sort of motivation or lose um, lose some sort of money or lose something that you're saving or hanging on to, but you're not going to Libra. Let's take a look at your final outcome. 
Spirit, what do we have for Libra? Final outcome in prosperity, money, success. All right, we have the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands energy. It makes complete sense because the energy of your reading is very straightforward here, even though tens are really good. Endings bringing new beginnings and you have that fool. The 10 of wands showing up says, ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. You may be working too many hours or trying too hard to please others. So there is so much hustle. There is so much ambition. I've never seen a reading with all the nights showing up repetitively. I've never seen so much busy body energy. So again, time management, keeping an app uh, that can help you focus more. Uh, this can also be about getting a calendar, getting a schedule in place. So the more things that you can do to plan and help you, uh, that this can bring some of the stress from you. Uh, some of you, again, hiring somebody to help you out or asking your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Even if this is people from a distance or even if it's people in your personal life, maybe your family saying, uh, hey, mom, dad, or having your kids, uh, you know, help clean up the house more or help do things while you're working, but also making sure you are balancing up that time and that energy, Libra. Let's take a look and clarify the 10 of wands, please. So it's definitely going to be a busy month for you, Libra. Busy month, but a lot of money being made in the month of May. Let's take a look and clarify this 10 of wands. Spirit, tell me about the 10 of wands. Oh my gosh. You have the Knight of Wands showing up again. So yeah, the Knight of Wands, you are passionate. You are excited. Adventure awaits if you are brave enough to move forward. And not only are you brave this month, Libra, but you are, are enthusiastic. You are happy. You're excited. And right behind it, we have the Queen of Cups. So just a pleasant reminder here. The Queen of Cups is a beautiful energy. It's somebody who's intuitive, caring, compassionate, very kind, but it's saying make sure you are filling your own cup and not uh, not filling the cups of others. You again can see her dumping out, but she doesn't always look excited and happy about it. So this is about you making sure you're filling your cup first, as we talked about earlier. So powerful stuff coming in. Again, I've never seen so much hummingbird, fast, quick action energy uh, in a reading. So let's take a look and get a message from the wisdom of the oracle for you, Libra. Very busy. I like this. A lot of you are saving a lot. You're adding up to your nest egg. Some of you may be paying off some debt, some loans. Uh, there may be things showing up for you that you are struggling at this time, but, and that may be why you're working a little bit more. Now you do have the chaos card showing up, chaos and conflict. Uh, and I feel that more, uh, I feel like it could be more internal conflict just because you have a lot going on and your biggest challenge is to find that balance, Libra. So let's take a look and clarify uh, the prosperity message here for you. Now, this is about being at a crossroads, okay? Because in the month of May, you do have decisions showing up for you. Now, this could be feeling the tension of opposites, which we talked about as well. And this talks about the value of chaos before order. Remember what I said here regarding that five of wands? I said that's the energy I like to see. This is about you dealing with conflict in a constructive way uh, when it shows up for you. Now, the prosperity message is this. Circumstances appear to be chaotic, but everything that is happening now is in truth shaking things up so you can find the real path to your prosperity. Yes, it can be a stormy time at times, and it feels as if there are opposing forces wherever you turn, but reassured that there is divine purpose in this chaos. Everything that doesn't work is being taken from you so the truest parts of yourself remain. The events occurring now are essentially for your ultimate prosperity. This chaos is divinely inspired even though it doesn't always feel that way. In time, you will know this to be true. It talks about divinely in you feeling divinely inspired as well. So again, I'm not necessarily getting uh, the energy of chaos and conflict being 
bad, being negative, things being taken or tower moments or anything of that nature, Libra, just to put that out there. I'm just feeling a very busy, hectic energy with a lot going on in the month of May. So it may seem like schedules are overlapping or things may be aligned or you just don't always have the time for yourself or time for family. Uh, but I feel with a good schedule and with good time management, I feel like you'll be just fine. You will be just fine. Now, let's take a look and see what your soul wants you to really pay attention to this month and ask yourself on a deeper soul level. What excuses am I making right now? No more waiting. There will never be a good enough time. The time is now. This is why you're so busy this month, because you're saying to yourself, no more excuses, the time is now. So again, this isn't necessarily a challenge of showing up for you, but it's about you making the decision to move forward. And I feel because you have that momentum, you have that energy, you don't wanna stop. And it says your soul action, Libra, is this. If it's important enough to you, you will find a way. Today, make a decision and do it even if you don't feel ready. Listen to your heart and you will be led. So again, another card regarding decisions and listening to your heart. And if it's important enough to you, you're going to keep doing it. And that's what I'm seeing showing up here. Something that you love. Uh, some of you are working for your family or working uh, to maybe bring in more finances for your family to enjoy the finer things in life. Whether that's a new home or a vacation uh, or whether that's you, maybe you're the sole provider or the breadwinner, but I definitely get the energy of a lot of finances, Libra. So this is great. Now we're going to take a look and get a few messages from the Spirit Animal Oracle. So at this time, Libra, I just ask that you close your eyes, tune into that third eye chakra, the area between your eyebrows. Take a deep breath in from the solar plexus, the belly area. And I want you to think of the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. Now this can be an animal that flies high in the sky. Perhaps it's an animal that swims deep in the sea. This could be an animal that is wild, domesticated, mystical, or even magical. Perhaps it is an animal that you had as a child, maybe one that you have at home, maybe one that has crossed over the rainbow bridge. There is no right or wrong answer, Libra. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you are ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, all you need to do, Libra, is post your power animal in the comment box below. And I personally will enter you into that free monthly reading giveaway where I draw one lucky winner around the first of the month and post right back here on this channel. So do make sure you have subscribed if you haven't already so you are notified when that is posted. All right, let's get your messages from your power animals. We have Porcupine. Porcupine spirit, time uh, to think with a beginner's mind, time for a beginner's mind. You not only have that full energy, yes, you're taking action, but remember with that page of swords, stay inquisitive, stay curious, stay open to detours or stay open to possibilities and new opportunities showing up for you. So the more that you can stay open to this beginner mindset of maybe staying more adaptable and flexible in your decisions, the better off you will be. Next, we have Nightingale Spirit. This is a lovely little bird that says love is all around. Love is all around. And that's what I'm feeling here for you. Yes, you're feeling the love. There's something that you may be doing where other people are feeling the love emitted from you. And it's almost like you have a natural high this month. It's like uh, whatever you're doing, whatever you are putting out there, it's filling you up in a way that you weren't expecting. So even though the Queen of Cups is showing up with fill your own cup, you may feel like you're filling your cup by helping others, which you absolutely are, but it's just saying make sure that you are getting adequate rest. You are eating healthy foods because we can be so busy taking care of others or be, foc you know, be focusing on our job or money or career 
that maybe we skip lunch or we don't drink enough water or we uh, tend to move towards caffeine to help us keep going and keep going. So this is saying that there is love all around. You are love, Libra, and you are supported as well. Next, we have Armadillo. Set healthy boundaries. And that's a common theme here showing up for you in this reading is just setting those boundaries, knowing where one uh, line crosses and where there needs to be a healthier boundary set in place here. And then last but not least, we have Starfish. I love Starfish because it says open to infinite possibilities. That is what is driving you this month, in the month of May. The infinite possibilities. A lot of you are really divinely being cha uh, channeled at this time. You have ideas that are really sparking left and right, and you keep going and keep going because you don't want to lose this divinely inspired channeled energy that's coming through your crown chakra. And you want to take action instead of letting something go stale or letting something pass on to the next person, your idea or you know some sort of invention or creation or opportunity or job. You are taking action and manifesting the possibilities, and they are unlimited, uh, excuse me, infinite and unlimited here and you are able to move towards them so this is really good now last but not least libra we're going to see what the crystal spirits have for you so what crystal and gemstone you can work with in the month of may to help you bring in more abundance and we have Agarine, Agarine. I've actually never received this card. I've never had this card come out ever, ever, ever. And I've also never heard of this crystal. So this is a surprise. Uh, as much as it is for you, probably, it's a surprise for me. So also that one energy is uh, about taking action and it's about manifesting your dreams. So let's take a look and see what the prosperity message is. And you can see here that it looks like a very beautiful grounding, maybe black stone with some uh, blue appearances in it as well. This is about integrity. It's about solidarity. It's about impeccability, reliability, and consistency. That's that Knight of Pentacles energy here, Libra. And uh, this prosperity message is this. Now is the time to be unfailing in your adherence to your values. Know where you are willing to bend and where you are not. Be in touch with what matters most to you, knowing that abundance takes many forms and will show up in many ways. Be fully present and impeccable in your financial transactions and dealings. If you have money decisions to make, meditate on what fair looks like. You will have greater clarity about where to make a stand and where a little compromise feels right. This is a really beautiful energy because it says here, uh, egg Agarine helps pull us out of our emotions and places us firmly in the well of our strength. And you did get that strength card. Meditation with this stone can assist in showing us how far we have come on our journey. It encourages us to embody all we have learned and reclaim our power. This is really uh, interesting here because again, I feel like it clarifies everything we've been talking about in your reading. And it's talking about you putting your values out there and staying in your integrity. Uh, as well, which is very important to you, Libra, uh, doing the right thing when no one is looking. It's also about aligning your beliefs with your actions. And that's what you're doing this month. Uh, I feel like you're aligning those actions, but it's exciting because you're also seeing the money come in as well by doing what it is that you love. So very powerful, deep reading, even though it's uh, it's straightforward with a lot of hustle, a lot of hard work is going to pay off. Libra, this is a month for you really to shine. A lot of success here. Uh, I feel like with your hard work, with you taking these plans that you have, turning them into action, you will uh, you will bring in a lot of success and abundance. You have the emperor energy. So whatever it is that you're moving towards, you are climbing to the top in big, beautiful ways than you could have ever thought possible. So I hope this resonates with you, Libra. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. Uh, feel free to share, comment your power animal, subscribe if you haven't already and I am sending all of you wonderful Librans a lot of love and light till next time